This is a BFD butterfly valve watermark and a D-clutch, one of our D-clutching devices here, double acting actuator and a position of 4 to 20 milliamp, air to electric to air positioner on top of there. The advantage of this unit is the fact that we can disengage the pneumatic actuator, exhausting the top unit via a three-way valve in the end of this device. <clears throat> then we can engage the manual override. If we operate the actuator, which is currently in the actuator position at the moment, see the butterfly valve opening here. Close the butterfly valve a little bit. Now, around on this side here, we've got the supply coming in. And internally inside here is a three-way valve, which feeds up to the top positioner. And that in itself has double acting capacity to operate this actuator backwards and forwards. Now, now it's in the sort of the quarter open or half open position. I just engage this device here by pulling the pin up, putting down the lever. That has now exhausted the actuator on the top and the positioner, and I can manually operate the butterfly valve like so. Previously, in the other position, if I re-engage that by pulling that detent up and putting that back up, it's now put the air back out the positioner, which has now operated the butterfly back, back to its previous position and the manual override device is disengaged. This is a foolproof method of supplying a gearbox drive to operate a butterfly or ball valve and having the positioner and the actuator device up here exhausted for safety purposes.